window. Right, I'm back mm. with another Audi horn. And Matthew's just ruined my flow. He's putting the shopping away. You put the shopping away? Don't worry, I won't make that same mistake twice. <laughs> oh no, what have I done? You could put it away after I've hauled it. No. Oh. One side off I could have been hauling it, passing it to you, and you could have been putting it away. I've been watching too many love films. So you probably see it behind me as well, so I'm gonna have to get it and bring it over here. One minute. We've got a bit of a mixture. We've got an Aldi haul, and I've also been to what's it called? I think it's called Pound Stretcher. I can't remember what it's bloody called now. I'll, pu I'll put it here when I remember what it's bloody called because I think it keeps changing its name. Anyway, let's just let's run through these. So I did have two bags. So if you see this one, imagine another one here. Oh, I've got another one of these candles. The ones that I got for Izzy a few weeks ago. They smell absolutely amazing. So I've got another one of the kind ones. I've got some creamy coleslaw. And some British mature cheddar. I don't know why I say British, but it says it on there. Some wonky plums. They don't look wonky. I don't know why they call them wonky plums. Um, now most, because we've got HelloFresh... Um, box um four meals throughout the week a couple of these things are for marcus so it, it's not all for me and matthew um so i've got marcus some of these these are the garlic and rosemary lamb kebabs cucumber these are for marcus as well the steam bags carrots broccoli and sweet corn they so just chuck these in the microwave yeah so they'd be perfect because goes to the gym so he likes to have like protein so meat vegetables and then a carb like rice pasta potatoes things like that <clears throat> so that'd be easy i've got a garlic baguette i've got two packs of chicken wings because this will be a day where we eat the same meal all of us so i like to get a lot of chicken wings and then i'll do like potato wedges with a mug of them I've got him some chicken breast mini fillets. This is the larger pack, so I'll probably freeze half of it and then put the other half in the fridge in a tub. And I've got some dry cured bacon rashers, smoked streaky. You get 16 rashers in that. So that's that. I'm just going to put these in the freezer because it's all like the bottom. Right, moving on. I had to go for a wee because I was absolutely dying for it. So, yes. I got one of my magazines this week. The, the lady on the till said, um, do you want one of these? And I could have swore she said, and I was quite loud in there, but I could have swore she said, because I'd always see you looking for them. I've never got them in. So she must remember me. But, yeah, I got one of them. So I'll look through that in a minute. I got some of the softest aloe vera toilet roll. Well, just got four this week because I did buy some from Heron last week and we've still got a few of them. And I got some of this four in one pink grapefruit concentrated disinfectant. It says it does 13 litres and it smells really nice. This is by Powerful, so it's Aldi's brand. But it smells lovely. So I needed some of that for mopping the floor. And I only said, I think it was either this morning or last night, I think it was, that I needed a, a diary or a notebook or something just to jot down the stuff that I'm doing on YouTube because I've got collaborations coming up. I have things sent to me from different brands and I'm losing track of them. So I need to jot them down. So I found this one in Aldi. It's an A5 notebook. I, I really like the, the pattern on it. The leaf pattern and it's just lined paper inside i don't know if you can see that but yeah that's what that will do that will do right so <clears throat> moving on right then so this is part of the first bag but it's not in the first bag so i've got some eggs 
just got six of those. I've got some wonky onions. These are only 50p and the ones next to it, which were look exactly the same but slightly different packaging, were 65p and they had exactly the same amount of onions in them. So it's, it's literally just a different packet. It's crazy. I've got four baked potatoes because I actually use these for mashy the day and they were quite nice. Um, and we've got a few potatoes with our Hello Fresh box this week. So we don't need that many. These will just be like for marks in the week or a jacket potato. So they were 45p. This is my bottle of water I got from Greg's. So we got a Greg's breakfast this morning. I had a sausage and omelette bowl. It was really nice. I used to go to McDonald's, but I'm fed up with it. I've got some of these. These are the Lunex Breathable Panty Liners Ultra Thin. They're really cheap, they are. This is why I buy these. I can't remember, 45p or something. I'm probably lying. I don't know where I'm going to see it. It's here somewhere. I think it's in the bag. Oh, yeah, I went Wilco's as well, but I only got two things in Wilco's. Yeah, they're really cheap anyway. Some penne pasta and some of the Al Cafe Time Golden Roast freeze dried coffee. And I think this is exactly the same as Gold Blend Nest Cafe Gold Blend because I've bought the Nest Cafe Gold Blend one recently. And I've bought this one and the one from Morrison's, which is exactly the same size, but this was like £2.9 or something. And the Gold Blend, blend one today was five pounds something so it's worth just getting that one no point getting a gold blend I've got six granny smith apples i've got the british carrots i think these are still 27p or 29p and i got a iceberg lettuce and these are what I'll, I'll definitely wanted to get when I went to Aldi. And they're literally identical to the basket that I got from B&M, in my B&M haul. But these ones are black and wood. So these are from my kitchen, because I've got a lot of the, the black accessories in my kitchen. So they're for those white shelving unit thing over there. So I've got two of those. And they were just three ninety nine, and I think they're six pound in B and M. So bargain. I got those. Right. Second bag. So this is literally a mixture of Aldi, that pound stretcher shop, and Wilco. So I'll get the. I get the Wilco bits out. Of the way. Yeah, I'll get the Wilco bits out of the way first. So. Now, in my B&M haul, I got um, some toothbrushes, the um, the spin ones with the batteries in on, and they were by the company called Wisdom, and they were absolutely crap. How crap were those toothbrushes, Matty? Uh, the spin ones. How crap were those wisdom spin ones that I got from B&M? I can't remember. Do you know why a duck has a tail? Why? It's called for its quack. Talking about toothbrushes, Ian. I mean, I just popped it. Just popped in your head and you had to tell them. But anyway, yeah, he, he didn't like it because he said to me that's the shittest toothbrush I've ever had, so. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was shocking. So I'm going to throw them away because they're, they're not even... Uh, what, well, are using a twig? It, it was shocking, shocking. So these were on offer. These were meant to be £5.50 each um, in Wilco. And they're the Oral-B 3D White. Um, brilliant. Whitens and gently massages gums. So just got them. Just some normal toothbrushes, but they just look pretty good. And they're just the medium ones. So these were on offer for... How much did I get these in the end? I think they were meant to be 150 and they came up as 110. Did you buy the mushrooms? I didn't buy mushrooms, sorry. Yeah, 
Well, no, we used them up the other day. Do you know what? I didn't even see mushrooms in Aldi today. Unless I just walked straight past them and they'd moved them or something. So I do buy mushrooms every week, don't I? Yeah, we normally have them. That's what I fancy well, I actually fancy some because guess what? I've just seen some on the telly. Oh. You know I'm not going to see some it, I want it. Oh, I love bacon. Well, you're going to make loads of noise in the background now, aren't you? Yeah, just a bit of noise. Next thing, I got some of the cotton candy seedless grapes. Now, I bought these last time for me and I didn't actually get any. Did you eat them all? The cotton candy ones? Mm. Oh, yeah, grapes. Yeah, I didn't even try any. So, I'm going to try some of these today because they're meant to be really nice. And they're not actually, I think they're about 20p more than these ones. I've got the cat, some of the Boita Cat Select, which has been coming in a bit more lately. And these are only 2 like on a box. I've got them. They're from Aldi. So let's get the, uh, the, the rest of the Aldi stuff bits out of the way. I've got the Fabulosa Electrify Degreaser. Now I bought this because you had an oil spillage in that box and we need to degrease so it says on here fabulous degrease was specially formulated to remove all grease and oil from tough areas so i thought if we mix that with some fairy liquid it might work because the engine oil is spilled in matthew's like box that he keeps his tools in and of course it smells like electrify which is my favorite scent Got some of that it was only 99p. Um, what else did I get? I'll do. Got some power force bleach. I always get this one, it's really good. Um, I got is that it from Aldi? I think that must be it. Oh, I got some um Coca Cola Zero, so Matthew's put them in the um. um one of my subscribers that absolutely hates that. What I can't was? remember her name now, but she actually, when I was stirring something one day, she was like, Arr! What, the banging, like? The like, yeah. Oh, you know how my, how John makes a cup of coffee? Oh, my God, his stepdad, when he um, stirs the coffee, is horrendous. Makes you really bleed. Um, I think that's it. That is it for Aldi. So, the last things in here are from I'm pretty sure it's called pound stretcher which is sure let me have a look at this sweet in here I have actually got a couple of things in here from a charity shop but I'm not going to do that in this one I'm going to do it in another haul right yeah it's called pound stretcher so um what was I looking for No idea. Yeah, pound stretcher. I've got the receipt anyway. Spent eighteen pound in pound stretcher. So, pound stretcher. I've got some Oral B Pro Expert toothpaste. Oh my! Sorry. One pound ninety nine. That was. I've got some Cetirizine. These are for marker and um, Cete Diva. It was 75p. What else have you got? Right. Put it on me. You see if you had any different bread? No, no, because I knew we had loads of bread, so I'm going to buy bread. Um, I've got this one. This is the last one on the shelf. Comfort Perfume Deluxe. Um, and it smells amazing. I swear they had this one in Wilco. And it was six quid or something. This was two ninety nine in that pound stretcher. And it does. It says fifty eight washes, but there's there's no chance I get fifty eight washes out of that. Then we need some hand wash upstairs. We've seen this one. This is the cushion um, creations under the sea, sea sparkles and water lily. And I got this one because I had a whiff in the in the shop as I do. And it smells beautiful and it's a big one so that was a pound i've already hauled that i've got some fish and chips yep the yeah there's nothing to be bothered about no. lady thing yes my age 
Right, fish and chips. That's the that's the normal charm, by the way, people. They just said that that's this fake charm you hear on videos. <laughs> I'm that's, not fake charm, so I don't know what you charm. want about. That's her telephone voice charm. It's not. Fish and chips, 75p. Got some sparkling Ribena. Uh, these were £2.50. And I bought these because they're so nostalgic. I used to do some voluntary work at the hospital. And when I used to go for lunch, I used to have one of these every day. And you, you don't really see these Ribena sparkling very often anymore, do you, Matty? No. So I thought, nostalgic, I'm gonna get some. And it's, and it's while they were building our new hospital as well, so it was like many moons ago. So I've been wanting one of these for a while as well, the refillable pump dispenser. Ideal for nail polish remover and cleansing lotion. So I've actually got it for my Garnier um, micellar water. Because I noticed the other day that sometimes I like to take my makeup off in my bedroom with the micellar water and then sometimes I like to take it off in the bathroom. But if I put some in here, I can put one bottle in the bathroom, one in my bedroom. It's one of those pump things on the cotton pads. So I got one of them. I think it was only a pound. Dispenser, £1.25. Um, I've got a brush cleaner because I noticed when I was um, doing my brushes that I needed something to scrub them on. So I've just got one of those brush cleaners. And that was can't see it on here. Oh, pound. And I've got some lip balm, raspberry, ready for winter. I always have to have lip balm in my bag through winter, so this is just a it looks okay, beauty blender. On them and the last thing from pound stretch i've got some chocolate brownie hobnobs and i only got these because they were 90p and they'd be about two quid in morrison's 90p and then the last two things in here are from the charity shop i'm not going to show you them though because i'm going to do a clothes haul vintage and charity shop um, tomorrow so I'm gonna leave that and I think that's it I'm sorry about all the uh, noise in the background Matthew's just decided that um... right that is the end of my cord done did so I spent 64 at Aldi 18 pound stretcher and two pounds something in Wilco so I don't want too much so Fox. anyway Thanks for watching. I hope you're all gonna have a lovely weekend ahead. See you later, guys. Bye. I've just realised I forgot a very important part of the haul that I've got from Pound Stretcher, and I said I really needed one the other day in my cleaning video. I got a new mop. Just bash the ceiling. So just a normal cotton mop. I love these good old-fashioned ones. £2.50, not bad. So, yeah.